and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to do a little bit of a studio vlog um, just because I've got into a bit of a routine now with my shop and my Patreon and my studies. Um, so I've been studying for around four weeks now and I feel like I'm sort of getting to the flow of it. So what I actually wanted to do was I wanted to do these studio vlogs probably on a monthly or if you really like them, um, maybe even fortnightly. So I just wanted to take you around show you a bit about my day, show you how I pack things, how I film things, um, how I take photos for Instagram. Um, I'm also going to get some supplies today. So I'm actually going to go to a stationary shop just because I'm only going to be in Sydney for another two weeks. So for the next two weeks, I'm sorry to say that a lot of the content on YouTube is going to slow down a little um, while I'm packing and moving to Brisbane. And very exciting, Dan and I got approved for an apartment up there. So I'm so excited um, to get up there and move into our new place because I'm actually going to have a real art studio. There's going to be an entire room dedicated to my stationery and art products and I'm going to set the room up really nicely. So I'm actually going to film the, um, the art studio tour and like putting my desk together and going through my stationery and unpacking. So I'll film that for you guys. Um, but yeah, today I just wanted to do like a little come with me while I pack some orders, um, go to office works and get some supplies and go around to some art shops just because as I said, I'm only gonna be in Sydney for the next two weeks and I wanna go to as many of my favorite art shops um, before I leave Sydney. So yeah, come along and I'll show you what an average day is like in my life. Um, I'm studying Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So Wednesdays and Fridays are going to look like this. Um, so that's when I'm going to be doing a lot of my filming. So most likely from now on in, I'll be uploading on Wednesdays and Fridays. <laughs> So I just got back from the shops. Um, I didn't even need to go to Office Works because, oh, my phone just went off. Um, pulp Creative paper actually had these really big packs of envelopes. They're quite, they seem quite good quality. Um, they're not as flimsy as the paper ones that I got from Kmart. They only had one pack though, so 20 of these envelopes hopefully should last me until I get to Kmart next to get the nice big padded ones. But to be honest with you, if I can get some more of these, I think I'm going to like these ones better. I also got this really cute um, Colour Me In sheet. Um, I actually, I want to create one of these myself for my um, patrons. 
um, maybe even once monthly or something that they can journal with or stick in um, on the front of like envelopes or something like that. I don't know, I think it's a really cool idea if I design my own little um, colour in sheets. I love this idea so much. I also got these for my new house. I thought they'd be really cute like on a window seal, I'll show you. And these are the products I need to pack. I got this big one here from Reverse Garbage, I think it's called, Reverse Garbage. Um, I'll double check that. Look how massive it is. I think it was $7. There was a whole bunch of them. I only got a few just because I was thinking, how long is it going to take me to get through this whole roll? Um, and I'm actually going to be making a few paper packs, so vintage paper packs for um, for my patrons as well on my Patreon. So I'm going to show you all that. I'm also going to make a video. So a few things I'm going to edit out because I'll need that footage for another YouTube video. Um, but I can show you my setup and how I'm going to do everything as well as we go. So I'm going to actually play some music for the next part of this video. Um, make myself a cup of tea. And the artist that I'm using I actually found on SoundCloud through another YouTuber. Um, so I'll have the music linked in the description box below. I highly recommend check her out, go buy her um, songs. I've actually tried to buy songs, I couldn't really figure it out. So I've emailed, um, sorry, sorry, I've messaged her on Instagram because um, I really want to support her. I'm all about supporting independent artists. And actually something that I've had a focus on my shop lately is just to support Australian um, independent artists, so local artists. Um, so I'm actually gonna get some new products in my shop soon. And I'm really excited. So I really want my shop, my stationery collection to be a place where you can come to find new um, artists and it can be a one-stop shop for everything that you want to buy. So at the moment I've got two artists that I work with at the moment and I'd really like to build that up over time. So if you are a local artist and you create stationary products, do email me because I'm always looking for some more artists um, to support. So yeah, I'm going to get going on this. I'm going to make a few videos. You'll see a few um, clips as well. And then this afternoon, um, what was I doing this afternoon? I was thinking of maybe packing or actually doing some schoolwork. Um, and I'll show you that a bit later. <laughs> So the first thing I'll do is I'll lay down the orders on envelopes. I'll also add my little card. This is a little girl that I made a couple of years back just drinking a tea. Um, so I'll be adding those to both orders. And then I'll also just get some of the other products from my shop and I'll include them as well. So I'll show you how I pack orders.
Talk to me. Just read and say that you're mine to me. Lay your head on me. Just let me be your remedy. Though I can never come to life to call you. So I've just finished packing both the orders. I've put little notes in this one. Um, I packed this one with four washi tape. The person only ordered three, but I couldn't package it well with three. <laughs> so I chucked another washi tape in there. So it was a good freebie. These are all freebies just because the person, um, I know them and I'm working with them. So this was the first order here. It's nice and thin. And now I'm just gonna figure out where, what, which envelope I'm gonna use to put this one in because it's quite thick. Um, but it's only getting sent in Australia. So I might be able to get away with putting it in a letter size envelope. We'll see if it fits. Then I'm just going to film a video for YouTube and take some photos um, on my phone a bit later for Instagram. So I'm going to film that video now um, and then I'm going to take the, um, the photos straight afterwards and I'll show you guys how I lay things out as well. So I'm just in the middle of making these vintage paper packs for my Patreon members um, over on Patreon and then I was looking to try to find this big white paper here and then I found that I actually hid this from myself ages ago, these Hello Pandas. They are so delicious. Let me do a close up. Look how cute this little image is on the front. They're like a little biscuit and they've got this like pink filling inside that tastes like strawberries. It's so yummy. Yum, yum, yum. All right, I'm going to get on with the video because it's quite late in the afternoon now. Oh no, the train's going past as soon as I start talking. And the sun's getting really, really low. So my camera's really finding it hard to focus. Oh, that's better shot. So cute. Hello, Pinda. Because I don't have an art studio yet, this is what my house looks like. This is my little dining room table. It's usually 
chocker on here like I usually keep all my stationary products on here when I'm making mail but I've had to do a big clean up because we're currently going through inspections so I've been cleaning up the house regularly I usually end up with like piles of projects on the ground here as you can see I'm still making my video um, for YouTube oh the train's gonna go past I usually have a whole bunch of things stacked on here as well as I said it's a lot cleaner this time around um, and then I always just dump all of my rubbish to the right. I really want to get a little bin, um, paper bin, when I'm making videos in up in Brisbane in my new art studio just so I have a spot to put all my rubbish. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys like an overview of um, what, ends up, what ends up happening when I start to craft. But yeah, um, I will show you these cute little typed out notes that I'm writing for my patrons over on Patreon. So I'm gonna finish up this video and I'm gonna go show you guys how I take photos. I don't actually know if I'll get to that point today just because the light's going, as I said, really, really fast. But um, basically what I do is um, I'll just lay everything flat on the table here and then I'll take it on my phone. So I'll show you what I'll do just cause I don't think I'll um, have time. Now, can you guys see my phone? No, you probably can't. Let me turn the light down heaps and it will focus better. Okay, it's flicking a little, but it'll focus a little bit better. So what I'll do is all my photos I take um, on my story filter on Instagram. And I've got a whole bunch of these cute little filters. This is the one that I use to film everything. And it just looks a lot nicer. You can't really see it on camera, but um, yeah, I've got like my preferred filters to take all my photos um, with my Instagram stories. So if you guys want to know how I usually take most of my photos, it's on Instagram stories and then I'll download it. And then what I'll do is I'll upload it on Canva and Sorry about the weight and the flickering. As you can see, if I go to my projects, no. If I go to my projects here, this one should show, yeah, um, all of my YouTube thumbnails. I'll make that a little bit brighter for you guys. Oh, nope, <laughs> too bright, too, too bright. So all my, um, what did I say, Instagram thumbnails, YouTube thumbnails. I'll just have one here and then I'll, so first I'll take the photo usually on Instagram or even sometimes my normal camera should be fine and then I'll edit it on Instagram. I edit everything on Instagram um, just because I like the filters and the editing tools on there. And then as I said, I'll upload it on Canva and then that's pretty much it. And then just a flat lay. I have a bit, I'm not very good at flat lays, but I'm learning more so I'll have like things that I use in my flat lace, so like the corner of the typewriter or like my cute string that I got or sometimes like my wax seal. Um, but you'll, you'll see photos if you go onto my Instagram, you'll see all the photos there. But yeah, let me finish off this video before the sun completely goes because as I said, my um, focusing is nearly gone now. And um, yeah, I think that's it for today. Alrighty, well, I'm going to finish off this video now. So I'm going to finish the video up here today. I just finished typing out all my um, thank you little cards on my typewriter. Um, and I really enjoyed making the mail and going a little bit of stationary shopping. 
Um, and yeah, getting everything up and loaded. So I still have to post a few posts on Patreon tonight, um, finish a few assignments for school. But if you guys wanted me to make more of these videos, I'm more than happy to. Just let me know in the comments below um, if you enjoyed them. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.